morning students <coughs> uh, today i shall uh, continue the topic what we discussed in the previous class to expand certain functions using uh, taylor series and maclaurin series <coughs> just to give a reminder for you what we uh, understood from the application of differential calculus uh, in expanding certain series there are two types of series which we have to explain one is near the neighborhood of the origin and another one is away from the origin that means <coughs> at x equal to a but here at x equal to x naught is equal to 0 then these two are the expressions as they will come as applications of differential calculus to expand so many varieties of functions at which point uh, it is asked at that point we have to calculate all the successive derivatives this is nothing but application of differential calculus Okay, so this is Taylor series. Yesterday, uh, in the, in my previous discussion, I had written f of x is equal to y. That means y equal to f x. Otherwise, this is called f of a, the functional value at that given point, and x minus a into f dash of a, x minus a whole square, and f double dash of a. Next plus of x minus a whole cube that is divided by two factorial and uh, uh, whole cube and it is followed by third order derivative at that point and divided by 3 factorial plus so on. Uh, in this series, we consider the number of terms uh, for all these functions up to what number of uh, terms it is asked in the series and up to what degree. That means corresponding derivative you have to calculate. For example, up to third order derivative otherwise third degree terms. Then you have to stop up to this and then you simplify. Similarly, it happens in Maclaurin series near the neighborhood of the origin that is y equal to f of 0 plus x into f dash of 0 plus x square into f double dash of 0. That means at that point you have to replace all the derivatives by uh, that value of x by 0. Then let me start with uh, one sample of the problem. This is f of x is equal to e to the power of x. Everywhere you will come across what is the exponential series. What is the exponential series and what is the exponential to the power minus x? Two series we are going to study that is contributed from Maclaurin series. Actually here that is Maclaurin series means at x equal to x naught that is equal to 0. Then let me write the solution for uh, uh, f of x equal to e to the power x. This is our example. f of x equal to e to the power x. Uh, how this can be expanded for exponential series. Remember one thing, see why we are studying all these things in mathematics, especially in the engineering syllabus. We will go for application wise uh, uh, as I told you in my previous, uh, previous discussion. That means in order to analyze the graphs uh, with uh, smoothness, more smoothness, we will increase or we will consider more number of terms for any given term. That term will be exp expanded in the form of some series. Okay. So, f of x is equal to e to the power x, then f dash of x up to fourth degree terms I am asking. This is uh, not fixed one that is up to fourth degree. In some cases you will have to discuss about up to third degree and in some cases up to fourth degree, in some cases up to fifth degree you have to discuss. Okay. What is f dash of x? e to the power x and f double dash of x is equal to e to the power x so that f triple dash of x is also e to the power x and f fourth order derivative that is also same thing because exponential term remains to be same uh, for any number of times when you take the differentiation. Now at each value that means at each value of the function and its derivatives you have to calculate at x equal to 0. What is f of 0 that is e to the power 0 that is equal to 1 and f dash of 0, f dash of 0 that is also e to the power 0 is equal to 1. So easily you can make out <coughs> any number of uh, derivatives. We are studying under the heading as successive differentiation that is for nth order derivative. Here finite number of terms we are taking that means finite number means it is fourth degree terms. Then f dash of 0 is equal to e to the power 0 that is equal to 1 and Similarly, you can take every derivative that is third order is equal to your fourth order. They are all leading to the calculation as 1. Therefore, exponential series will take these number of derivatives 
and these derivatives will take every value as unity. Then we substitute in the McLaren series by McLaren series. Left side you can put it as f of x is equal to given function that is f of x here I will write otherwise f of x is equal to this formula okay f of 0 that is 1 plus of <coughs> x into and f dash of 0 that is into 1 by 1 factorial x square into 1 divided by 2 factorial x cube into 1 divided by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 4 divided by 4 factorial into 1 that I will stop up to this one because it is asked up to fourth order derivative. So, fourth order derivative means you will get fourth degree terms as coefficient of this de uh, differential uh, coefficient of that particular order of the derivative that is order of the derivative means fourth order derivative. Now, that f x is a given function f x equal to e to the power x that is equal to 1 this one final simplification I am writing x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 4 divided by it is 4 factorial and plus so on. This is your standard formula that is for exponential series. So, wherever you come across exponential series that means the series expression for exponential term immediately they will write, but from where you got it, how did you uh, write that series exactly in this form that is the contribution or utilization of McLaren's series. Now, this is one case, but here itself you can write the replacement of x by minus x then e to the power minus x it will take at x equal to minus x that means replacing x by minus x. Then you can have the uh, series using that uh, McLaren series that is e to the power minus x right side wherever x is there you replace by minus x. Therefore, alternately you will be getting minus sign plus minus you are getting 1 x is equal to minus x means minus x divided by 1 factorial and x square minus 1 whole square that becomes x square by 2 factorial and uh, this is minus sign because minus 1 to the power 3 that is x cube by 3 factorial and plus of x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial because even powers will give plus sign and odd powers will give negative sign. So, this is exponential series for uh, 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 replacement of x by minus x ok x by minus x and uh, positive term is e to the power plus x. This is a very important series and uh, everywhere we will come across that e to the power of x sin x cos x log 1 plus x log this one even some other problems also I will write using the uh, equation that is Maclaurin series. Now, I will go for sin series uh, cos you can try on your own any one I will solve. Now, f of x is equal to that is sin x. Then here I will change here I will change uh, continuously I will go on writing the derivatives f of x is equal to sin x then f dash of x equal to cos x and this is minus of sin x and this is minus of cos x and this is plus of sin x. Even you can continue for higher order derivatives. Then Maclaurin series uh, right side after finding the functional values. We will see how these functional values will fall when you replace x by 0. That means here f of 0, f dash of 0 and f double dash of 0 and so on. f of 0 that means sin 0 is 0, f dash of 0 cos 0 is 1, f double dash of 0 this is 0, this is f triple dash of 0 that is minus 1 because cos 0 is 1 along with minus sign and f fourth order derivative 
at 0 that is equal to 0. Then by Maclaurin series this you can write it as f of x is equal to f of 0. What is f of x? Sin x. You are going to explain sin x in the form of that series. Okay. Sin x is equal to we are writing Maclaurin series expansion for f of x equal to sin x. What is f of 0? 0 plus x into f dash of 0 that is 1 by 1 factorial plus f double dash 0 that is f double dash 0 is 0 that is x square into 0 by 2 factorial and plus of that is x cube and triple dash 0 this is minus 1 by 3 factorial and x uh, th that is x to the power of 4 fourth order derivative is 0 that is multiplied by 0. This is 4 factorial in the denominator. Finally, we will get f of x is equal to first term is 0, second term is not 0, x by 1 factorial and this is minus of x cube by 3 factorial and plus of you can expect uh, as a continuation you can expect 5 factorial in the denominator x to the power of 5 and alternately plus minus you are getting. So, this is our standard uh, expression for f of x is equal to sin x. Similarly, I hope uh, by looking to these terms you can try on your own that is cos x f of x is equal to cos x same type of steps you carry out and then find the functional values and then substitute in this Maclaurin series and then see that that is uh, this uh, sin function is with uh, odd powers of x on the right side you will be getting cos function with even powers on the right side. That is the uh, application of uh, Maclaurin series for these functions. Now, I will write that what is log of 1 plus x. So, log of 1 plus x because uh, varieties of problems you will come across on the application of this Maclaurin series. Now, this is log of 1 plus x. What is the differentiation? That is 1 plus x and x differentiation is 1. Okay. Next is you can take this one uh, to the numerator otherwise to the left side in any manner you can write 1 plus x whole to the power minus 1. Okay. Then f double dash of x. So, minus of 1 plus x minus 2 then f triple dash of x that is z equal to this minus this minus plus sign and 1 plus x whole to the power minus 2 minus 1 it is minus 3 and a fourth order derivative with respect to x that is equal to same thing minus uh, 3 into plus 2 that is minus of 6 into 1 plus x whole to the power minus 4 and so on. So, these things these things will come in the logarithmic curve even uh, most of the times uh, you are going to plot log plot and log log plot for some of the graphical representations. There we need to understand what is the series for log x, what is the series expansion for 1 plus log 1 plus x, log 1 plus sin x, log 1 plus cot x, log 1 plus tan x, log 1 plus cos x like that. So, many uh, uh, functions you can include under the logarithmic function. Now, what are the uh, calculations that you have to carry out by replacing that x equal to 0. So, first function, first function means here every value you have to take uh, at x equal to 0. Then f of 0, f of 0, nothing but it is uh, x equal to 0, then log 1 becomes, anyway, we will write some details 1 plus 0, this is log 1, then it is equal to 0 because log 1 is 0. Then f dash of 0 f dash of 0 means 1 plus 0 whole to the power minus 1. Okay. So, 1 plus 0 whole to the power minus 1 that is 1 to the power minus 1 that is 1 by 1 and answer is plus 1. Okay. Then next uh, derivative f double dash of 0 that is at x equal to 0. f double dash uh, 0 this term you have to take and 1 is there x is 0 and 1 to the power minus 2 you will be writing that as minus 1 because outside minus 1 is there. Then f triple dash of 0 
f triple dash of 0 is nothing but 2 into 1 to the power minus 3 that will be taken to the denominator that remains as 2 only. Then f fourth order derivative that is nothing but minus of uh, 6 into that is 1. Therefore, these values you have to include in the series. What is that series? Maclaurin's series. Then f of x equal to log of 1 plus x that is equal to first term is f of 0 that f of 0 you are getting as 0 that is not existing and plus of x into f dash of 0 f dash of 0 is plus 1 and by 1 factorial plus x square f double dash of 0 that is minus 1 that is 2 factorial x cube then triple dash that is 2 by 3 factorial and plus x to the power of 4 and fourth order derivative minus 6 divided by that is uh, 4 factorial okay because up to fourth degree terms. So, what you are getting finally then? Finally, we are getting like this that is log of 1 plus x is equal to first term is 0, second term you are getting x and uh, third term that is with minus sign minus of x square by 2 factorial and next term that is you can also cancel this 2 uh, with this uh, 3 factorial plus of that 2 cancels means x cube divided by 3 only and here minus sign and uh, 3 2s are 6 and x to the power of 4 divided by 4 only. So, this is an important series for log of 1 plus x is there. Let me take uh, another example. Uh, these are all the problems which we discussed by taking uh, with a straightforward approach. Straightforward approach means directly differentials we have taken on the right side and then we did all the calculations at x equal to given value. Now, uh, the next part I will take uh, uh, taking cross multiplication and how to write Maclaurin series solution uh, by uh, going for higher order derivatives. That problem will be that is log of 1 plus sin x. Let me take that uh, log of 1 plus sin x for 4 derivatives. Uh, similarly, on, uh, in all the 4 derivatives, we have to take at x equal to 0 what are the functional values in the form of derivatives ok. So, this equation f of x solution then f dash of x you can write one sentence log of 1 plus sin x. What is log of 1 plus sin x? 1 divided by 1 plus it is sin x into differentiation inside that is cos x. Even you can uh, go for higher order derivatives just like that uh, using uh, ratio formula that is u by v method. <laughs> Rather going in that way, there is alternate way where you can expect take this cross multiplication and see that that is 1 plus sin x. In some problems we take like this that is f dash of x. This is only for convenience. Otherwise, we can do like this only no problem. Then this is cos x and uh, you can write that one as sin x equal to 0. Otherwise, right side also, uh, this you can put it as right side sin x. So, even afterwards also, you have to calculate what is the value of f dash of 0, f double dash of 0, f triple dash of 0 like that. Okay. Next derivative. Now, to get second order, this leads to product of two terms, 1 plus sin x multiplied by f double dash x plus of sin x it is cos x f dash of x and sin becomes cos function. This is the result of second order derivative. Next I will proceed to find uh, the next order derivative that is 1 plus sin x into f triple dash x plus of sin x differentiation is cos x and f double dash x this becomes plus cos x this is also product of two terms f dash becomes f double dash of x and minus cos differentiation is minus of sin x into 
f dash of x and right side minus of sin x minus of sin x. Uh, it needs uh, one more uh, derivative that is fourth order, but before that these two terms are same so that you can add these two terms. I will go for one more sim step simplification. This is sin x into f triple dash x plus of 2 cos x into f double dash x minus it is sin x and f dash of x is equal to minus of it is sin x. Hope you understood these terms. Uh, if any clarification is required, uh, you can uh, uh, write all the uh, all the steps one more time and see that uh, how this first order gives second order, second order gives third order, third order gives uh, fourth order like that. So, this is the step I am going to deal uh, for the calculation purpose of the functional and this is the step double dash and this is the step because from this we have simplified this step. Now, one more 1 plus sin x into because up to fourth order we, I am going to calculate that is fourth order derivative and plus cos x into f third order derivative plus 2 cos x this is product 2 cos x f double dash becomes f triple dash. This is also product of two terms, this is also product of two terms, this is also product of two terms except uh, first term and last term in between uh, the term is going to be repeated. Okay. Now, this is over. Now, minus of sin x into f double dash x Okay, then uh, ma minus of sin x uh, uh, sorry that is cos x minus of sin becomes cos and f dash of x that is equal to 0. On the simplification for this log of 1 plus sin x that is 1 plus sin x. 1 plus sin x f fourth order derivative x and plus cos into triple dash cos into triple dash 2 plus 1 is 3. It is cos of x f triple dash x and here double dash is only one term it appears. I think it is uh, uh, f triple dash. Let me check that once again. This is first term this gives fourth order. This is second term a differentiation cos x and third order remains to be same. 2 cos x means 2 cos x into f triple dash plus minus of 2 sin x here plus 1 term I left that is minus 2 times it is sin x 2 times sin x f double dash f double dash x here you have to add that is minus of because this is a product this is a product this is a product. Okay. On the simplification double dash is also repeated here minus 2 and minus 1 minus of 3 it is sin x f double dash x and minus of cos x cos x and f dash x that is equal to 0. Then for all these derivatives you calculate the functional values at x equal to 0. This is the first order, but your functional value that is f of x equal to log of it is 1 plus sin x. From this what is f of 0? f of 0 means sin 0 is 0 that is log of 1 plus 0 it is log of 1 that becomes 0 because log 1 is 0. Then here uh, first order derivative this is without derivative and first order derivative f dash of 0. f dash of 0 means you have to take sin 0 is 0 multiplied by 1 to this first order derivative right side is 0 that is 0 by 1 that is equal to 0. Then uh, here that is f double dash f double dash of 0 that is also multiplied by 1 because 1 plus 0 and f dash of 0 this is 0 here 0 cos 0 is 1 but right side cos 0 is 1. So, this value remains to be f double dash as 1 and f dash as 0 
and f0 as 0. This is, these are the three values. Now, the, you go for third order derivative, third order we have simplified in this step. That is f triple dash, f triple dash of 0, here triple dash after the simplification 1 plus sin x that comes to be uh, multiplied by 1 and right side it is 0, sin is 0, cos is cos 0 is 1 and f double dash is 1, this is plus 2 and you can go for final form of writing, this is triple dash is minus 2 because plus 2 you have in the left side and minus 2 that uh, 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 will come minus 2 to the right side, but left side it is plus 2 along with cos 0 is 1 along with f double dash is 1, therefore this remains to be plus 2. When I shift that to the other side uh, as, uh, and uh, introducing x equal to 0 for sine function that also becomes 0. Finally, f fourth order derivative that is f fourth order derivative that is here multiplied by 1 and here 3 cos x that means 3 into cos 0 is 1 and f double dash of 0 sorry f triple dash of 0. What is the f triple dash? That is minus 2. So, minus 2 into plus 3 that becomes minus 6 one term. Sin 0 that becomes 0. Cos 0 is 1 and f dash of 0. f dash of 0 is 0. Therefore, this becomes plus 6 because left side is minus 6 you are getting plus 6. Therefore, these are the 4 5 values for substituting in the McLaren's series. Therefore, f of x that is nothing but y that is nothing but log of 1 plus sin x is equal to log of 1 plus sin x that is equal to uh, first term that is f of 0, f of 0 is 0 that is 0 I will substitute and plus x into f dash of 0 that is also 0 and x square f double dash of 0 that is multiplied by 1 plus of x cube and f triple dash that is minus 2 divided by it is 3 factorial, this is 2 factorial, this is 1 factorial and plus of this is plus 6 is there that should be x to the power of 4 into 6 divided by it is 4 factorial. So, finally, what you are going to expect that is log of log of 1 plus sin x equal to log of 1 plus sin x equal to first two terms are 0, then x square by 2 factorial and this minus 2 means 2 cancels minus of x cube by 3 and here 6 is there, 4 factorial means only 4 remains x to the power of 4 divided by 4. So, this is the final form of McLaren's series. So, one more I will solve in McLaren series, then I will close, I will go to Taylor series. Next, one more problem I will do that because how it is to be simplified that I will show in the next problem. So there is uh, the function is of different type, that function we have to write uh, by some simplification or rearrangement. So, that problem is like this, expand. You give importance after studying these uh, basic problems and the next is important, important problem is this express square root of that is 1 plus square root of 1 plus that is sine of 2x using McLaren series. Maybe uh, third degree or fourth degree, but here common question I have given that is up to fourth degree. Let f of x is equal to square root of 1 plus sin of 2x. Here uh, immediately what we think of about the given term, directly we can take the differentiation square root of some quantity, we will write it as 1 divided by 2 root of that quantity and differentiation inside. In that way also you can continue. But another shortcut method let me explain because for such problems when you go on taking uh, the higher order derivatives then 
uh, maybe very lengthier uh, uh, step you, you need to write. So, to avoid that there is some shortcut method which gives easily the calculation for derivative and calculation for functional values. So, what I will do here in this case in place of 1 I will replace that is sin square x plus cos square x and in place of sin 2x that I will write 2 times sin x into cos x. Okay? So, this is the step. Now, what you will do with this? This is nothing but a plus b whole square that is sin x plus cos x that is whole square. Exactly it looks like that. Hope you will agree with me because this is a square plus b square plus 2ab exactly of that form. This one using the trigonometric formula I will be able to write sin square x plus cos square x that is equal to 1 and sin 2x I will express in terms of 2 times of sin x into cos x. Then it is whole square what, what it becomes that is sin x and plus of it is cos x and here it is f of x is there f of x equal to sin x plus cos x. Now, from the given problem from the given problem of square root sign we are able to get without square root sign in this form. Now, you go on writing the differential coefficients let f dash of x that is equal to cos x and minus of sin x f double dash of x is equal to minus of sin x minus of it is cos x because cos is minus sin, sin is plus cos but this minus will be carried as it is f double dash that is equal to f double dash is equal to minus of it is cos x and plus of it is sin x f triple dash of x is equal to that is sin x and plus of it is cos x and one more f fourth order derivative that is equal to cos x and minus of it is sin x up to fourth order derivative. If you want uh, for getting more practice about finding the differential coefficients, you can also continue for higher order derivatives. So, now I will write every functional value after the differentiation process is completed that is f of f dash of 0. Now, f of 0 is what? f of 0 is equal to sin 0 plus cos 0 that is 0 plus 1 that is equal to 1. Then f dash of 0 that is cos 0 equal to 1 sin 0 is 0 and f double dash of 0 uh, this is uh, uh, sin 0 and cos 0 is 1 that is equal to because of minus you write minus. Then f double dash means f uh, triple dash f double dash is this. Okay. Uh, Right, I think uh, I have written two times. Then f double dash is that is f double dash of 0 is equal to 1 and f triple dash is minus of cos x, this is triple dash. Okay. Minus of sin x becomes minus cos x, cos x becomes plus sin x, this is triple dash. That is 0 is equal to minus of 1 and this is for fourth order derivative this is for fourth order derivative this is not required of course fifth order derivative but we have written up to fourth order derivative then f of fourth order derivative at 0 this is plus 1 then what is your uh, function given that is function is given square root that square root of 1 plus sine of it is 2x that becomes 1 plus sine of 2x that becomes uh, McLaren series okay first term is f of 0 that is equal to 1 plus x into f dash of 0 that becomes 1 by 1 factorial plus x square f double dash of 0 that is minus 1 by 2 factorial x cube into triple dash that is minus 1 by 3 factorial x to the power of 4 x to the power of 4 that is fourth order derivative into plus 1 by 4 factorial. This is your solution. Then like this you can continue for any number of problems in McLaren series. Now, I will go for Taylor series one or two samples I will write then I can move on to the next discussion. Here 
in uh, Taylor series, this is away from the origin, then we consider that x equal to a at some length, that means at some point of x, we calculate all the differential coefficients. Okay. How that goes, let us verify through the problems. <coughs> expand expand tan x tan x by Taylor series Taylor series in the powers of in the powers of x minus it is pi by 4 up to third degree terms, up to third degree terms. Third degree terms means up to third order derivative. This is the expression you have to use. Instead of x into f of 0, here x minus a into f of a. That a is nothing but that point whatever it is given. Now, so in the solution, in the solution, you can define this by a function y equal to f of x is equal to it is tan x. Okay? And in the powers that means uh, this in the powers of x minus pi by 4. This you can compare in the powers of x minus 4 means x minus a that is x minus a. This implies a is equal to 45 degrees. This is a is equal to pi by 4. Instead of calculating every derivative at x equal to a equal to 0, now you have to put x equal to a equal to 45 degrees. Then the first order derivative that is f dash of x that is nothing but secant square x. Okay. Then f double dash of x that is up to third order derivative. Okay. <clears throat> what is secant square x differentiation? 2 times secant x into secant x into tan x. This is by the list of differentials, you will be able to write that is secant square x as 2 times of secant x into secant x differentiation is secant into tan. Then this leads to 2 times of it is secant square x into it is tan x. Then f third order derivative f third order derivative is equal to 4 times it is secant square uh, secant x into secant x tan x. This is for the first term because it is a product of two terms u into v, u dash into v plus v dash into u. This is one term tan x as it is you are writing. Okay. Then plus of second term you have to write. This is for third order derivative 2 times it is secant square x into secant square x. Why it is secant square x? Because tan x differentiation is secant square x. You have to be more perfect in the list of differentials than secant x, tan x, sin x, cos x, cosecant x, log x and then exponential term. In all these cases, you have to be very perfect in writing all these differentials for trigonometric functions. These are the three derivatives because it is asked up to third order derivative. Then f of x equal to tan x find at that is functional value at x equal to a equal to 45 degrees. That is pi by 4 means what? It is nothing but 45 degree, right? That is 45 degree means theta equal to 0 and y that is 45 degrees means this is theta is equal to pi by 4. Then at that point, all these functional values you have to calculate. Then uh, maybe some simplification you can take here also, otherwise directly you can write. Okay. Then f of x equal to a equal to it is pi by 4. What is that value you are going to get it? Pi by 4, that means tan x means tan pi by 4. What is tan pi by 4? It is sin by cos tan of 45 degrees. That should be sin pi by 4 divided by cos of it is pi by 
4. What is sin pi by 4? 1 by root 2, that is 1 by root 2. The answer is plus 1. That means tan 45 is always unity. That means that is equal to 1. Then f dash here, f dash of x equal to a equal to it is pi by 4. That is equal to secant square that is pi by 4. So, secant square means this you can write it as 1 divided by it is cos square cos square pi by 4. What is that cos pi by 4? 1 divided by 1 by root 2 it is whole square. So, root 2 whole square you are getting it as only 2 because 2 to the power half simplification that gives us plus 2 that is the answer. Then second order derivative, this second order derivative you have to simplify like this f double dash at x equal to a equal to that is uh, pi by 4 and wherever secant is there that is 1, 1 divided by 1 by root 2 that is equal to 2 into 1 divided by 1 by root 2 into 1 divided by 1 by root 2 because there are two secant functions and tan x that is uh, tan x is 1 uh, means at x equal to pi by 4 otherwise uh, secant square 2 times of secant square then tan in any way you can write it. So, what is the answer 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 means it is only 1 by 2 the answer is plus 1 because 1 by root 2 if you cannot understand immediately then you can write like this that is equal to 2 into root 2 comes to numerator that is root 2 into root 2 uh, this one 1 by root 2 root 2 comes to the numerator ok root 2 into root 2 is 2 that is 2 into 2 the answer is plus 4 this is the value then you can expand this tan function using Taylor series tan of x is equal to f of f of a that is functional value. What is f of a? f of pi by 4 that answer is 1. Therefore, 1 plus of x minus pi by 4 because it is asked to prove in the powers of x minus pi by 4 that is x minus a into f dash. f dash value is plus 2 that you write plus 2 divided by 1 factorial and x minus pi by 4 it is whole square and f double dash double dash is f double dash is plus 4 uh, I think third order still we have to calculate ok I will do that 4 divided by it is 2 factorial and fourth order derivative ok I will do this uh, third order derivative at x equal to a equal to pi by 4 that is equal to 4 times secant x into secant x as you did here 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 that comes to be 4 into 2 in the numerator tan 45 is 1 outside tan is there 1 and second term this is secant square is there plus of 2 into 1 by 2 because secant square means 1 by root 2 whole square and secant square means 1 by root 2 whole square into that is 1 by uh, 1 divided by 1 by 2 into 1 divided by 1 by 2. So, this becomes uh, 2 goes to numerator this 2 goes to numerator 3 times 2 is there that is nothing but 4 into 2 that is 8 and plus of 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 the answer is 16. Therefore, you can put it uh, plus of x minus pi by 4 up to third degree. This is second degree. Now, I am going to write third degree and its corresponding coefficient that is 16 divided by it is 3 factorial. If you want, you can simplify these functions. So, like this Taylor series uh, problems you can solve. I would like to stop up to this this topic. Then I will go for next is a partial differentiation the next topic in the same module that is another very important topic is that that is a partial differentiation this is all about ordinary differentiation that means nowhere we have taken as daba that means partial derivative 
then uh, we have to write the ordinary derivatives and partial derivatives separately by defining the functions by defining the functions uh, function of single independent variable and function of more than one independent variable so now i shall start this uh, partial uh, differentiation then okay uh, i'll continue in my next lecture so what what we discussed today and you try to reproduce all these things and see that you must be able to accept the new problem so that you will be uh, finding the higher order derivatives and see that functional values must be calculated. Thank you.